This is a troubleshooting lab. Can you believe it? The previous administrator at your company was fired, and he was the only one who knew the passwords of these devices. Unfortunately, the company doesn't have a document with company passwords locked in a safe or stored somewhere securely. The passwords of these devices were only known by the now fired network administrator, and you need to fix this. So in this lab, you need to do a password reset on router one, router two, and switch one. You need to reset the enable passwords of router one, router two, and the switch to Cisco. Now that in itself is not good advice for the real world. In the real world, you're obviously going to use a better password than Cisco. But for this lab, that's sufficient. Now to help you, I've added links to Cisco documentation. For the real world, you should learn to use Google as well as the Cisco documentation for troubleshooting networks. This first document is a troubleshooting guide for the Cisco 4000 series integrated services router. And the second link is recovering from a lost or forgotten password on the 3560 software configuration guide documentation. So use the documentation to help you if you're not sure how to recover a password. Now, one thing to note is that Packet Tracer doesn't fully support all the options for password recovery on a Cisco switch, but I've tried to make it as close as possible to a real world example. So if you need to watch the next video where I demonstrate how to solve the lab, the router password recovery will be as per the documentation on the Cisco website. So use this to help you if you're not sure how to recover passwords by, for instance, going into ROM monitor and changing the configuration register. But for the switch, the documentation on Cisco's website is excellent and will help you a lot, but you may need to watch my video to get it to work fully in Packet Tracer. Now, once you've recovered the passwords, make sure that you restore the device configurations. So don't lose the device configurations. You should be able to bypass the secret and enable passwords on the devices and restore the configuration. On router one, we are using an enable password. So you need to set that to Cisco. On router two and the switch, set the secret password to Cisco. So make sure that you reset the right password. In the real world, you want to use secret passwords and not enable passwords. But for the lab and for studying, we'll do an example of both. So again, make sure that device configurations are restored and that devices can ping their loopbacks. Verify also that when devices are reloaded, configurations are restored using the new passwords. So click on power cycle devices. Once you think you've got everything working and make sure that the devices reboot, configurations are loaded correctly and that the passwords are set to Cisco per these instructions. So can you complete the lab? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete this lab.